Hey YouTube, I'm here with a haul from Rainbow. They are having a, I guess, an end of season clearance. So most of the things when you go in there are between three and five dollars, which is kind of my thing because Rainbow is fast fashion. So you don't want to pay, even though twenty dollars is not a lot of money, but you don't want to pay twenty dollars for something that you're going to wear a few times or wear only for an outing or for some pics on Instagram if that's your thing, or um. Even the fact that it's really thin. Like, most of the clothes quality is okay. And I've had some stuff from Rainbow that I've been able to keep for a while and wear. But, like, I've purchased a pair of jeans there. Love the jeans. They were, like, $17. Perfect fit. Looked great. But I bumped into the gate. And I walked in the whole side of the jeans tour. So, you know, that doesn't happen with my Lane Bryant jeans. But they don't fit as nice or look as cute. And they cost a lot more from Lane Bryant. Um, which I will say, their stuff doesn't... I mean, to me, in my opinion, recently, their stuff hasn't been quite as cute or as trendy fashionable. So I'm gonna throw, I'm not trying them on because I've not figured out video technology to do try-ons and all that kind of funky stuff and editing. Not there yet. Maybe one day. So, I purchased... I like polka dots a little bit. Purchased this shirt. I guess it's off the shoulder. Uh, $3. Denim with polka dots. I think it's cute. I'm going to make. I'm gonna try to make this fast. This shirt was inside out when I bought it. But it's sleeveless. I like the stripes. I like the pockets on it. It's a little thin. It's really cute. Most of the things that I purchased are... This is a 2XL. So I actually purchased it in the summer with the intent of that I would have shed a couple pounds. Um, I'm actually in the process of doing all the stuff that you need to do for weight loss surgery. So this is more for the summer because I am, I'm, I don't know. I guess I look it in the picture, but I do generally wear a three X. Uh, that being the fact that even though this shirt might be just an extra large, but sometimes I can't do this in my clothes. I feel really tight or stuffed. Uh, and sometimes my clothes or pants or skirts that are smaller won't go across my hips. And then sometimes, even if I get them all on, if it's slightly too top tight, the muffin top, it's not cute. I prefer to wear things that are fitted in the places that it flatters me and hide the parts that are not flattering. My muffin top is not flattering. So long as my jeans are fitted in the thighs and leg part, I can hide that big old belly. What is this? This is this is actually a romper. It's a 3XL, which I probably am like, I won't be able, I might not be able to fit it in the summertime. Or it'll just be a little big. Shorts, romper. It looks, I know it looks pretty huge, but when it's on, it's not going to look that big. And even if it is, it's always better to have stuff a little big than it is to have it small because at least if it's big you can make it smaller but if it's too small you can't make it bigger you can't do anything with it can't put a belt on it to tighten it up or anything like that so i thought this was cute for the summer some things i did actually purchase for the summer because i'm going away to morocco um and i needed to figure out clothes that are desert appropriate summer appropriate but also conservative uh because it is an islamic country i don't know if that's coming to Morocco, that was three dollars. Uh, this was five dollars. This will come to Morocco. It's really long. It's a dress, and it has a split, so it's pretty long. And then the split's right here. I'll actually try it on. The split probably won't come up too high on me, so it probably won't even matter so much. But that'll go to Morocco. This outfit, I stuck it on the side. I probably can't fit. It's a 2X. The skirt was $5, but uh, it's a pencil skirt. Super thick. The kind that's, and that's why I think I can't fit it. It's not flowy and thin. The band is really thick and kind of tight, almost as if it pulls you in. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to shed some pounds before I can get into this 2X. Um, like, if I get it on, it'll probably... I'll probably feel stuffed. I will stuff the skirt. 
Um, I also, and I have a polka dot shirt like this, but it, from Ashley Stewart, but a little bit different. I've noticed some fashions from Ashley, Ashley Stewart don't look too different from things I've seen at Rainbow. Um, not sure if there's any ties between those companies or just the fast fashion look that they copy. But I purchased this to go with the pencil, the black pencil skirt. That might be a summer outfit. That might be depending on when I can get into that skirt. So we'll see. I haven't tried anything on yet. Um, I'm just assuming like the one dress was 2X. So I'm f that it looked big. So I think I'm going to be able to get into that. And it may be too big in the summertime. Um, this velvet shirt was only $5 to start with. But it was on sale for 3 This is only, this might only be a 1X. But it was the only one and I really liked it. It is only a 1X. So I'm going to see how that works. There are times... I can get into a 1X with no problem. There are times that 1Xs are just too tight. Um, or even if it fits and feels loose, it looks tight and it doesn't look flattering. But I'm stashed, I've am i stashed all my like size 14s and all that stuff for when I do lose the weight. These pants, they are actually uh, crops. These are a 3X. Um, and that being that, you know, it has to go around a stomach <laughs> and it has a draw, it has not a drawstring, but a belt so I can tie it to make it tighter. Um, they were three bucks. It was kind of hard to find something. There wasn't anything green there that matched it. They had shirts that had the same pattern, but a different material. And I just felt like that would look absolutely horrible. So I did not buy them. What I did do was grab some black shirts. Um, and I'll probably just wear like a blazer or something. So, cause these black shirts have like, uh, what is it when the shoulder is out cold shoulder. So most of these black shirts have like a cold shoulder look to, um, something that I wouldn't find the most appropriate for work, but, um, and I plan to wear those pants to, to teach and to work. But if I put a blazer on, then it doesn't matter. And I have like a tan blazer. Let's see, I also bought some accessories. The accessories were always at Rainbow. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I thought this was cute. I don't know what, when, or how, but it's a little bling bling tie. I don't know if you can see the blingage. Tacky and cute all at the same time. I guess that would be me. Because <laughs> I like tacky stuff sometimes. And then I bought a brace, a set of bracelets. And I think this kind of blush color, it might be more peach than blush. Um, but it's something that I feel kind of, the color doesn't show up. So it looks really pink on my phone's camera. But it's more of a blush or peaches, peach kind of color. Something I think is kind of neutral enough that I would still wear it if I'm wearing nothing of this sort of shade. And I would still put this on. Like with blue or black. Definitely with tan or beige. Just looking around to make sure nothing is on the bed. Another black shirt that has uh, cutouts or a th is this lattice? Mm, I don't know. Little cutouts in the shoulder. It's like a black t-shirt. Not the best shape. Their t-shirts don't have a very flattering shape. So on average, I generally just try to tuck those in. But that this black t-shirt, I was trying to find a black dress shirt but they didn't have of course they wouldn't have any of those left would go with these black pants these look huge in comparison to the other pair uh they actually look very big for their 3x they look a little bit larger but i said i'd rather go for smaller i mean too big especially for three dollars these were three dollars and i can wear it now and then later just toss it this dress, what size did I get this dress in? A 2X. This dress was $5. And it's kind of, is ruched on the side here. Where is the little ruching? The, whatever, I guess that's ruch, ruched on the side. It's sleeveless, like, so it comes around like here. But then it has, I don't know if that's sleeveless, but it has the sleeve here. Like, so it would be like this. So, uh. I'll see if it looks flattering on, but I think it's cute and I think the look is cute. And for five bucks, I said, Hey, mm, I'll find somewhere to go and wear it. Cause I, I haven't been, I went to a concert, not last weekend, but the weekend before. But other than that, I haven't really gone anywhere recently. And this dress is going to Morocco. 
It's a 2X. It was $5. Is the print the same? Almost the same. Different? No, yeah, yeah. It's different, but it still leaves all over the place. Um, and it's long. This one does not have a split. No, it doesn't have a split. The sleeves are uh, three-quarter length. Still the same kind of dip here, which may I may need to uh, pin it or wear a shirt underneath it to kind of cover up. But I think that's good enough to kind of travel abroad with. It's not bulky, so when you're traveling wearing dresses or having skirts kind of come in handy because they're not as bulky as packing jeans, a shirt, um, all that kind of extra stuff. Well, that was it. I, altogether, I think I spent like $59 because the jewelry was regular price. Buy one, get one half off. Um, each thing was about 5 or $3, mostly $3. Uh, this video was quite long enough. So, I will talk to you later. Peace.